Hey there, welcome to the Test Kitchen backyard. This is where we develop all kinds of recipes. Usually it's winter time, so thanks for popping by in the summer when I can be more comfortable. Today I'm going to show you how to take burgers and kebabs, really simple sounding, basic fare for a barbecue and make it new and unique, but to have it also come off the grill as safely as possible. So as you can see, I've got my grill set up far and away from where the rest of the party will happen and that's always a really important thing to do especially if you have a small yard and you've got lots of people coming particularly kids because this whole area inside and out is hot so that's your number one safety tip um, you can see I'm cooking burgers I have uh, pork burgers that are glazed with a gorgeous Thai peanut glaze that's going to make them delicious and modern and new and um, I've got some that have just gone on to the grill and these ones at the back that are pretty much cooked. As you can see, they look different, but you can't just use looks to be sure that uh, a burger is cooked. So this is an instant read thermometer, and it uh, has a dial that uh, will tell us how hot the inside temperature is of our meat. Now you can use this exact same technique on steaks, chops, you name it. Now instead of going through the top, which a lot of people do, the best way to take a temperature is to go through the side of the meat. And that way you get the probe in as deeply as possible and right to the center. For a burger, we want it to be cooked to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And if it's not, you just put it back on. Um, if it's cooked a little bit over, you know that next time you need to, to cook it a little less. Now for our kebabs, which I'm going to be topping with a really fresh, delicious tropical salsa of peanuts and mango and, uh, and avocado, the way to check whether or not they are done is to, let me see, I've got my plate here, is to take them just gently apart and look to see if there's any pink in the middle. And there isn't any here, so we know that these kebabs are totally ready to be served. Now just because you're having a burger fest doesn't mean you don't have to have things look very stylish. As you can see, this is the way we've presented our burger. We've got some naan and some grilled pineapple and then that hoisin peanut barbecue sauce has given it a real Thai tropical feel, just like the kind of thing you'd get in a restaurant. So you can serve burgers but still be stylish. And then again, we've taken just basic kebabs. A lot of people would look at this and say, oh, she did souvlaki, nice. Well, no, it's way better than that because we have this really lovely salsa that, as you can see, has got mango and onion and some jalapeno and lots of peanuts in it, which add crunch as well as protein. And you just spoon that over top. This is such an easy salsa, and it goes so well over chicken, fish. Just, uh, I'd actually love to see it over some Pacific halibut, which is really in season right now, which would be fantastic. Now, for all of these things, our marinade, our salsa, you want to make sure you keep those cold until just before you use them. When you're marinating, uh, sorry, when you're glazing your burgers, very important to make sure that this mixture is not the same mixture you're going to put on as a condiment when you get over to the table. So if you want to use this as a sauce later, divide it in half before you do what I just did because all of the germs and bacteria that are in the raw meat are now in this sauce. So there's some quick and easy ways to keep your grilling fun, exciting, and safe. See, they can all go together. Thanks for popping over. 